Hey, g'day everyone, Andrew here, Real 4x4 Adventures. Uh, coming to you from the breakaways, just, uh, just out of Cooper PD. About a half hour drive, there are a few flies. Uh, that's pretty, you can hear that on the microphone. But it is an absolutely stunning space, which photos just don't do it justice. So over there you've got another lookout. But here really shows that fall away. You've got these amazing colours. It's an amazing spot here. And there are no drones allowed here. So if you're watching this, you've been warned. Um, due to it being uh, an indigenous uh, cultural space there, an indigenous space, there's uh, on cultural grounds they don't want drones being flown because it is a, a very special place to them. So please respect that when you're here. But you can absolutely enjoy it still all the same by just being here, seeing it, getting the odd photo. So we're here about 4.30 and the sun is over there. There's someone's car. So look, depending on what you want to do, if you want to get out here early, it's about, I want to say about half an hour out of Kubipedia. It could be little off on that but that's kind of what it felt like I didn't I didn't measure it but if you were here in the morning given the Sun is directly over there above that car you would have the morning Sun coming up um, again wouldn't be great for photos but to see it would be pretty spectacular I would expect so that's what I'm gonna do Got the big rig over there just gonna take you for a little walk over here I think this second lookout space, uh, just around from the main one that you get to, gives a better look at, at the area around. Now there are a few flies. I do have one of those little dorky fly masks, but decided to take it off for the benefit of the video. But look, I might just turn around. I don't know if you can pick up the flies there, but it feels like there's a few on my face. So, keep to the park here. Just walk down here. You can get a look down here and it's pretty spectacular. And again, being here a couple hours later, at sunset, the flies generally start to leave you alone. By then they disappear for the night. No guarantees though. As we come down here, I'll look to the left here, and again, I'm sure it won't do it justice, but I'll try. <laughs> okay, so there's you know, a little bit of relief from the sun there. So this amazing, called the breakaways, so it falls away there. And you've got these spectacular colours down here. Look at that. It's pretty amazing. Come around here, do watch your step. If you had a little fall there, it would definitely ruin your trip. There we go. It's been a number of movies shot out here. Uh, look, if you do come to Cooper Pedy, we had some ideas of what we were to expect. We're here in start of October. It's actually reasonably pleasant um, the nights are, are somewhat cool um, in terms of supplies uh, everything we've come across so far that we've purchased has been very reasonable um, we were led to believe that fuel would be super expensive it wasn't um, you've got a range of accommodation options we've stayed in a in a little underground Airbnb which uh, we'll have a video of that at some stage uh, there are plenty of camp options plenty of motels um, the community is very friendly of everyone that we've met so far. Uh, there's all kinds of obviously mining museums. You can purchase opals. There's a range of places there that'll sell it. Uh, but yeah, the, the museums and even the, the working mines or old mines are really interesting, uh, both for adults and for kids. So that's the breakaways. There are other lookout points. I've chosen this one to do the photo. Gonna come back over here just again here because that is pretty amazing. This cars. There is a permit you do need to get. Um, 
I actually have phone reception out here with Telstra. Don't know if that's normal or not. So you can do it on your way out if you get reception, but uh, but generally do it online before you come. And you get permit there sorted to come through. Uh, the road is definitely is in good condition as we've come through. So you know, make sure you, you pay your permit there. It helps to to keep things nice out here and, and it accessible for everyone. Again, there are some flies at this stage. Hopefully there's not when you're here, but just in case, bring your fly net. But yeah, that's the breakaways, just out of Cooper in South Australia. Pretty amazing. Uh, depending on which way you're heading, uh, you can head up towards the Painted Desert as well, out to Unidata, depending on where you're, uh, where you're heading, or where you're coming from. Uh, we're going to head to the Painted Desert next. But again, without being able to have a drone, thought to have a video here to try to bring this to life a little bit was, was important. Hope you've enjoyed. If you've got any comments, pop them down below. If you haven't been to Cooper Pitty, absolutely put it on your list. And if you do come out here, make sure you see the breakaways here. Um, sorry, there is an indigenous name for it. I'll have that in the, the subject and description. But it's, yeah, pretty, pretty spectacular. Um, in Cooper Pitty now, there's a range of different restaurants, cafes. The bakery is amazing. Um, again, fuel was was uh, fuels marginally more expensive than Port Augusta. I was stressing about it, I should have done some more research. Um, again, that's based on us coming through now. But yeah, it's the breakaways. Thanks for watching, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below.